Hi and welcome to Mr Edwards GCSE PE revision sessions. These videos give you the option to pause, freeze and rewind the lessons at your own pace. Energy sources, aerobic and anaerobic exercise and short term effects of exercise. Your body requires energy to work, whether you are sitting in a chair with your muscles contracting to keep upright or sprinting 100 meters with your muscles contracting to create power. Key term, energy, the capacity to do work. All types of activity require movement, but the energy is produced differently depending on the activity. Methods of energy production. There are two methods of energy production that your muscles can use. Aerobically, using oxygen, and anaerobically, without oxygen. Both these methods are effective for producing energy, two factors determining which method is used. The intensity of the activity, how powerful it is. The duration of the activity, how long the activity lasts for. Key term, intensity, how relatively powerful something is. Duration, how long something lasts. Aerobic energy production. Aerobic energy production takes place in the presence of oxygen. The body will be able to work aerobically if the intensity of the activity is moderate or lower. This is so that there is time for oxygen to be delivered to the working muscles and processed during the activity. Producing energy aerobically is the body's preferred way of working because lots of energy can be produced this way and there are few harmful byproducts created. People work aerobically can work for long periods of time. Example of aerobic activities include marathon running, endurance cycling or long distance events. Aerobic energy production uses carbohydrates or fats as the fuel source. How energy is made. When carbohydrates are used, Carbohydrates, this is the use of the energy source. Carbohydrates are turned into glucose and with the addition of oxygen create energy. One of the byproducts of the energy is carbon dioxide and water. When fats are used, fat is used as the energy source which creates fatty acid and with the addition of oxygen creates energy. The byproducts of energy again are carbon dioxide and water. Keywords you need to know. Aerobic work, working at a moderate intensity so that your body has time to use the oxygen for energy production and can work for a continuous period of time. Carbohydrates, fuel for aerobic and anaerobic activity. Glucose, carbohydrates are converted into glucose which is used as a fuel in energy production. Fat, fuel for aerobic activity, source of fat include butter. Fatty acids. Fats are converted into fatty acids, which are used as a fuel in energy production. Anaerobic energy production. Anaerobic energy production takes place without the presence of oxygen. When the intensity of an activity is high and muscular contractions need to be powerful and fast, oxygen cannot be processed quick enough for the body to use it. As a result, the body produces energy anaerobically without oxygen. This does not mean that you do not have to breathe. It simply means that your muscular contractions are happening too fast for oxygen to be delivered in time for it to be used. While anaerobic energy can be produced quickly, it cannot be produced for long durations. This is because the lactic acid is a byproduct of anaerobic energy production. As lactic acid builds up in the muscles, they become fatigued and cannot function properly. Therefore, a person will need to rest before they can produce another burst of high intensity anaerobic work, allowing their anaerobic energy system to recover. When would you use anaerobic energy system? 100 meter sprinting, 200 meter sprinting, short sharp activities. Anaerobic energy production uses carbohydrates as its fuel source. Carbohydrates, this is the energy that they use, becomes glucose. This creates energy and the byproduct of anaerobic energy systems is lactic acid. Key terms. Anaerobic work, working at high intensity without oxygen for energy production. The work period will be short in duration because the energy is limited. Lactic acid, a byproduct of energy production, which is formed when the body is exercising anaerobically at high intensity. A buildup of lactic acid results in muscle fatigue. Is the sport anaerobic or aerobic? with or without oxygen. Any activity that goes for an extended period of time where you think about pacing yourself is aerobic. 
as the energy system works with oxygen. Any sprint slash high intensity short explosion of energy is anaerobic as the energy system works without oxygen. Most invasion games, for example rugby and football, use a combination of both anaerobic and aerobic energy sources. Thank you for listening to Mr. Edwards GCSE PE revision videos. If you have any questions, feel free to email me on damianedwards at kingselbarsha.com. Cheers. Bye.